everyone welcome back today I'm so excited this month is going to be a little different from my original content I have been invited to a collab with these amazing creators to create a junk journal for this month so each week it's going to be a different thing that I'm going to be doing to make a junk journal I am so so excited so let's get started called Oct Huga. I'm going to put that phrase here so it, it should be appearing on the screen. Emphasis on the word Huga. Um, it's a Danish word um, and I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. I practice on my Google pronunciation thing so hopefully it's close but Huga stands for um, basically a type of coziness and comfort it's almost like from what I've read unplugging on the daily chaotic life and finding a coziness and comfort and basically self-care to yourself I could be wrong but that is the best definition I found I will be talking to the main person who started this challenge just to see if I am explaining it correct. If not, I will have her comment down below a more correct definition. But that is what I found. Basically think the words cozy, self-care, and I guess in a way kind of like mindfulness of just being in the present. So I thought I would include my um, wax melter to the mood because what I think I think of coziness is smelling something that reminds me of home. So I will be grabbing a scent that reminds me of home. So I'm literally reaching to my container right now. I can already smell it. Oof, okay. And the scent I will be going with is going to be eucalyptus and lavender. I will explain. My mom believes in aromatherapy and one of the scents, either one or the other, was usually always in the house. And that was eucalyptus and um, lavender, good lord. So, I recently went to my mom's house a few months ago. My sister had a candle. It was literally eucalyptus and lavender. And it smelled so homey that I have been obsessed with it. So I decided to find a combination. I couldn't, so I purchased a lavender wax melt and a eucalyptus wax melt. So that is what we have here today. And that is what I'm going to be melting while I film this video. So I just plugged it in. No, I did not. So I will plug it in and we will get started. I am so excited. Um, but yes, this collab is basically with a bunch of other beautiful creative women and the really cool thing about it is that each and every one of them will be creating a junk journal to how they feel what means that word Hugo. so for this whole month we are going to start things so today's is going to be 
cover, the junk journal cover. Um, I will be doing a lesson as to how I make my junk journal covers, spilling my secrets here. So I did go to Joanne's um, and purchased some fabric to include this um, to the theme. And the amazing, literally, the amazing part about this is that two of the girls who are participating in the collab created a beautiful digital kit look how thick this is like okay so this is both kits i while i was perusing on it i accidentally mixed them up but if you are interested in this and any of these kits i will share the link down below and the girls are going to be doing a 30% off coupon or code I'm not sure so, so all that information is going to be down below if you would like to participate as well and make your own Huga journal with us so the first image was actually this one that I saw and this itself I when I went to the store I said what fabric would best represent that these fabrics are from Joanne um, and for the cover I really liked this distress plaid um, fabric so I'm gonna show it and then for the inside cover I kind of wanted something a little more on the because the second kit so, so the first kit is more like um, what's the word more fall earthy and then the other one is more green earthy. So I was gonna add some like mint green, but I felt like this cream really fitted with the theme and with the other kit. So both kits are honestly so beautiful and they have so, so much. These are maxi kits, like as you saw. And this this, is, this isn't even all the pages. There were like maybe like 10 pages I did not print because I had issues with my printer. I was supposed to print this to post this, sorry, on Monday, but your girl had no ink to print the kits. So I panicked and I I, I messaged um the person who invited me and I'm like, oh my God, what am I supposed to do? Because I don't have a printer. Well, I do have a printer, but I don't have ink. And the only place that had my ink, of course, was Amazon. So they promised a overnight delivery that didn't happen so that's why we're here so i'm going to put the fabric right here and i'm going to go through a few of the pages i i will not do a flip through of the whole kit because this is going to take forever and i don't want that so we're gonna um browse through the first thing i wanted to see was what size this is because if it is the size that, that I think it'll be, I can use this for the cover. If not, it is going to be too big. And I think it's on the bigger side. Let's see. So it's about... Actually, here's the biggest part of it. Okay. Yeah. And it looks like it is almost about six and a half inches. So unfortunately, that is not going to be a great size for for the cover that I was planning on. So that that's fine. There's so many images here. So I'm just going to browse through this real quick, pick a, sh a couple of sheets or contenders, and then I'll be right back. Alrighty, and I am back. Oh my goodness, guys. That took a while because, oh my God, this kit. Okay, this kit has so much so much I didn't know which one so I picked like 10 then from 10 I went through like five and I think I have three contenders so top three um, and I'm gonna show them and explain what my thought process is and what I'm gonna do with it if I choose that one the first one is going to be this one so originally I wanted to use this book cover because it looks very vintage very nice but this one right here really gives that 
Huga um, vibe. It really shows Huga. So, especially because it gives you that fall cozy vibe, I really feel inclined with this one. So this one is a very strong contender and I feel like 60% chance that I'll probably pick this one. So this is the first one. The second one is this one. And actually looking at it, it looks like the same image. It is the same image except it doesn't have this back poster. And again, the chair. So probably why I picked it, but I didn't pick this one for this one. I actually picked this one for this one. I really like this center spot. I thought I could put something here and I will show you what I was thinking in a minute. Let me show you the last contender, but I feel like this one is very cozy, very fall. And again, it just gives you that, like a drink is here and in the window, it just really gives you that calm, cozy feel. And then the last one I'm contendering is this one because it, it would go really nice with this uh, dark and cream color tone. But now that I'm thinking about it, I think it's too earthy for my taste. Um, so I'm going to probably dismiss this one. Um, but I am going to include it in the signatures for sure. Like it, it is going to be inside, just not as a cover. So I'm gonna move that sheet aside. And then the reason why I wanted, I was thinking about this one was because then we have this sheet with pieces that we can include. And something just, I don't know. I, I don't even know if it'll fit. Actually, it seems like it would fit. So adding this um, piece right here that says, Let's Huga right here, I think would be really nice. I'd probably have to cut it and put Let's on top and then Huga so, so it, it can actually fit very centered. And then maybe put like something up here, maybe, or just really focus on this center area. If I were to do the Let's Huga um, part, if not, I would go back to the other image and probably incorporate something here i really am thinking like something um i'm not even sure but just i'm really considering a lot when it comes to this one because this one feels very completed finished and it does kind of match this um cover so i'm going to kind of place it behind you just to kind of give it a idea and i'm going to place it behind the other one just so it can give me an idea i'm a very visual person so just seeing the backing gives me the idea that i want oh this one actually goes really well so i think i found my container container contender so yeah now that i've picked it we're gonna get started i honestly thought i was gonna choose this one but i'm surprised i chose that one so now I'm going to show you how, uh, well, I have many ways of making a junk journal, but I'm just going to show you a very simple way that I do it because um, I feel like this should probably be a little bit beginner friendly. So let me grab my things real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, I am back. I just realized that my camera stopped recording because it was on low battery mode. <laughs> because that's what happens to me just the most unfortunate things i swear but um i will explain what i did while i was in the middle of doing that i grabbed two file folders um the sizes is eight by uh six i and then i grabbed three pieces of strips to make the binding thicker and then with the second one I again cut eight by six and I glued that on top just to make the cover more thick so that's what I did I usually do not use file folders but I have a lot so I thought might as well do it I'll probably do a slower tutorial on how to make this one in camera because 
of the unfortunate not recording. So, um, yeah, but at least I have it made. So I'm going to put that down. I have no clue why this is here. Move this. Okay. And then I'm going to try and glue. To be honest, I'm thinking about not even gluing the fabric because this would be such a perfect fit. And even the, the border of this would look really nice. So I'm debating, should I use the fabric? I It would look nice, but I feel like for this theme, it's just the simplicity would really look nice. So I'm going to, I'm gonna cut this and see how it looks like, you know, put near it and we'll go from there. No, I need the fabric. The fabric would really tie this together. I'm using the fabric. So, we're going to use my fabric for this because I really just need that top without it be too overwhelming and I feel like this light color I thought the simplicity of it would look nice but just seeing it together just okay so I'm stretching out this fabric oh my goodness a good amount okay okay and I finally did it it is glued I'm sorry, I did not record this process. It just was very time consuming for me because I'm very cautious and I try to make sure that it's even and yeah, that's expressive for me. So this is what the cover looks like and this is what it's gonna look like. Uh, the binding is just half an inch because I wanted it to be not too big. Um, but it's gonna have a lot, I can tell you that. So coming back to this, I feel, oh my God, yes. I am so glad I decided to do this, the fabric. So I, the edges are kind of um, fussy. So I'm just gonna do a quick little fussy cutting. My cats are fighting, <laughs> literally. I'm not recording. I'm gluing quiet. Click play and they're back to their mind you know to their craziness okay so there we go so now we got this very nicely um cut fuzzy cut i am honestly so in love with this i my favorite season is fall so just seeing all of this is just i'm surprised i've never heard this word before the huga huga or I'm saying it wrong probably, but um, yeah. So I am literally almost out of glue. So good thing that I'm just recording for the cover because we still have a long ways to go. So I'm going to glue it on camera, which is a lot of pressure because like I said, I like things being even and my cats are literally fighting i am so sorry for that if it gets worse i'm gonna have to interfere but it seems like they're just having a standoff okay they need to practice yoga because okay so basically I just like making sure that the edges have enough glue and that um, the middle so it's not um, wrinkly or anything the good thing is that I did print this in cardstock so I'm gonna rise it up a little bit let's see Okay, I'm just slowly putting pressure and now I'm gonna get my trusty dusty 
um, bone folder. Speaking about bone folder, if I were to choose my favorite crafting supply, it would be probably a bone folder. Ever since I started using a bone folder in my paper crafting game has changed, literally. My game, I feel like more comfortable folding things in half and just um, doing like, um, what's the word? Um, doing multiple things, just, you know, scoring is easier. It's just literally this bone folder is a godsend and this one I got in my um what's it called in my book binding kit so it was this one and another one I have no clue where the other one is but literally love this one it's plastic so if it has any glue it can you know come off so I'm just putting pressure to make sure the edges are glued Looks like this side might need a little more glue because it's coming up a little bit. So, let's see if I can add a little glue. Just oh, I think I stained it. Uh, let's see if I can fix it. I also bought um, oops, I also bought a glue eraser. Ask me where it's at. It works though. I bought it from Dollar Tree. That's another great crafting supply. Um is a glue eraser i didn't even know there was a such thing as a glue eraser but yeah and it works as well so my question is what is your crafting supply not what is what is your favorite crafting supply what is like your must have okay if you were stranded in a junk journal competition and you had to and you were only able to pick one tool to have in every single challenge, what would it be? For me, I would say fabric tag glue. If like if I had to have in every single challenge or like of all time. I feel like glue. But for paper crafting, I would say this bone folder. So it really depends, but for scrapbooking, fabric tag and the other brand, basically the Beacon Glue has been a game changer for me as well. So if I had to choose like my favorite one, it would probably be Fabric Tag. Um, I am glad I did not distress this. I feel like it would have been too much because I did think about it, but I feel like it's just like so good this way. I am so happy with what I did. So now I'm going to add the, the little wordings and see if it goes with the, goes with the flow. So, originally I was going to cut this with a paper trimmer, but I feel like it's just easier to cut it with scissors. <clears throat> so, let's do that. Okay, okay. so I'm almost done cutting it. And guys, if you have a chance to get this kit in your hands, okay, like, even if you're doing the spooky season for October, but for November, this would be such an amazing kit to practice with and just to work with and practice yoga, okay? I'm going to see if it fits. It probably will not, but if it, let's see how it would look if I just added it like that. Um, I don't know. What if I were to like, let's see. What if I add like two sentiments? Like that one. And then let's say um, this one, for example. Okay. So, uh, Cut this real quick. I'm sorry I'm doing it off camera. I just realized I am not doing anything on camera and that is not good. So um 
I'm gonna be honest, the main reason is because I have hand tremors and I get embarrassed if the things are not even, but I should learn to just go with the flow. Let me see. This looks kind of uneven. Let me see if I can. There we go. Okay, so that's Hugo and then the Get Cozy. Let me see how it looks in the camera. Sometimes seeing it in a camera perspective, I've been recording this terribly and recording my mess. Okay, so let's see you guys like right here and then let's put this like, let's see. Okay. Oh my goodness. I think I like this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that like that and then um, yeah I think that's the look I think I'm going to glue it like this and call it a day I cannot believe I was recording my mess um, I am currently in between switching seasons so I'm going to put all my seasonal stuff away that I'm you know that I'm not gonna use so I'm just, I'm just trying to move the glue and then I grab a napkin and I just clean it off all that excess glue is dried off so it's not like sticky sticky god I want it to get hard so okay now let's get to the real stuff look how nice this looks okay it looks like a magic potion okay I speaking about Hugo I saw this tea that is blue. I have no clue what flavor it is. If you know what it is, let me know. It's a blue tea, but if you uh, squirt a little bit of lemon juice, it turns purple. Like, how crazy is that? That, like, the citrus gives it a whole other color. And... I need to start drinking tea again because it has been a hot minute since I've had tea and seeing this makes me just want to get like a nice tea. My favorite tea is the passion fruit one from Tazo. So good. So good. Okay. Especially if you make it cold, get a water bottle, put a bag or two in, let it soak overnight, drink it throughout the day. Oh my god. It is so refreshing, sweet. Not like overly sweet, like, you know, a sugary drink. But sweet enough that, like, you will be in eternal bliss. So good. Oops. I smeared it a little. Smeared it a little. There we go. Okay. Oh my god. We did it, guys. We did the cover. I am so happy with this cover look at this okay we did this together well i did some of it by myself but if it wasn't for you guys and for these amazing ladies who approached me and told me make a journal for us for this challenge i would have never made something so cozy i was actually thinking about skipping like fall theme and but now I'm in the mood, okay? So next video is going to be um, me working on the signatures. Um, but please, guys, I am going to list every single creator participating in this Octuga. Please check them out, okay? I absolutely will be doing this. I did not watch their cover videos because I wanted to make my own and then see their videos because I didn't want to get an idea and kind of steal it from them. I kind of wanted to respect their ideas and respect mine. So now that I'm done with mine, I'm going to go and binge watch every single creator. And if you make one, make sure to tag me either on Facebook, on Instagram. Okay, let me know. Okay, show me what you got. Post the video on YouTube. You know, tag me or whatever. I want to see how you create 
your Optuga if you decide to participate in this challenge. It is not too late. Okay, I was supposed to post a video on Monday and it's not Monday anymore. So sorry for it being late. Um, I'm changing my schedule for this month. So instead of posting on Sundays, I, I will be posting on Mondays. So next Monday is going to be me working on the signatures. Guys, can we just, please, can we just appreciate this and just, okay, I can hear the angels going, oh, okay, I just am so happy I'm in, I'm in Hugo mode, okay, um, and if you would like to try this mix of lavender and eucalyptus, let me know if you like it, it is a little strong, but it's just honestly relaxes me, and for this theme, I feel like the scent kind of helped me come up with the ideas, so, Okay, and how do you Huga? Okay, let me know. Like, what is your cozy, relaxing, unwinding thing that you do? For me, it's crafting. That is my thing. Okay, I usually make a warm drink. I don't have one right now, but I usually make a nice, cozy, warm drink. Even in the summer. Okay, I'm a hot coffee girl. But anyways, I make myself a nice, cozy drink. And I just craft for hours. So this video, this video probably took like two hours, but hopefully me posting it will be like 40 minutes, if not less. So we shall see. I am so happy with this, guys. Guys, I am so happy with this, okay? So now serious mode. I will be posting every single link to all of these girls' accounts. I will be posting the links to these two um, Huga paper packs they're huge okay huge paper packs okay i probably printed like 100 pages or something like that um so please go and check them out if you buy something leave them a beautiful review because their work is beautiful look at this okay work of art literally picasso okay i love 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 the fact that i was included in this challenge i usually am never included in anything sobs so i just feel i feel noticed and i feel happy to be a part of it i'm so so excited and they've been so understanding with my whole printer fiasco so enough rambling so please make sure to check out their etsy shops 30 percent off okay you you cannot miss that you cannot okay so run to etsy purchase their kits and make a huga journal with me please like please okay so i'm ending this video before i end up rambling for another 30 minutes but please my only question for this video has been what is your favorite crafting tool crafting supply like i said for me it's probably between the glue and the, the bone folder okay so let me know i will heart and like your comments okay because i love you guys and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it subscribe if you want to see how this journal ends up coming up i have so 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 many ideas and i'm so excited my cats are literally not helping me vibe with the end of this video they need a huga so I'm wrapping this up. Until next time, bye.